हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एजुकेशन एट एस एस बी जी ऑनलाइन वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल एंड वी आर हियर विथ एन अदर कॉन्टेंट ऑफ सी बी एस ई क्लास एट चैप्टर क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न द डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्रॉप राइट but wait a minute let us recall that what is crop when plants of same kind are cultivated at one place on a large scale is called crop when plant of same kind are cultivated at one place on a large scale then it is called crop we already know that crops are of different types and what are those types cereals vegetables fruits and so on these can be classified on the basis of season in which they grow some crops grow in winter season some crops grow in rainy season because they want more water india is a vast country lots of population the climatic conditions like temperature humidity and rainfall vary from one region to another sometimes some places more rain and there is no rain at all in some other places accordingly there is a rich variety of crops grown right in different places of country despite this diversity there are two broad cropping patterns and what are those cropping patterns and they are kharif crops and rabi crops you must have studied this in your geography syllabus so let us once again recall that here what are kharif crops crops which are sown in a rainy season are called kharif crops right because they those crops require more water and and when is the rainy season in india somewhere june to september slightly it varies here and there and what are the crops grown paddy maize soya bean groundnut cotton they require water to grow and that is why they are grown in a rainy season and they are all kharif crops now next one is rabi crops So what we have seen is a cropping pattern two types kharif crops and rabi crops and what are rabi crops the crops grown in the winter season october to march right are called rabi crops right and the examples of both kharif crops and rabi crops are on your screen rabi crops examples are wheat gram pea mustard and linseed and so on so here is a complete mind map a pattern cropping pattern in front of you but when we talk on production of crops once again production of crops 
what first comes in our mind is production or let let us say cultivation of crops many of you must have been involved in cultivation of crops at your native place maybe sometimes in the school or you must have seen some people maybe your gardener working so if you see the pattern of their working the production of crop or a cultivation of crop require some stages you have to follow those pattern you have to follow those stages and what are those stages let us discuss shortly these stages we shall have one more video in detail discussion of all those stages of production of crop but in this video in short we will discuss so first what we should do to cultivate a crop we have to prepare the soil for this and what does it mean we have to turn the soil and loosen it and why should we do that it allows the root to penetrate deep into it the loosening of soil helps in growth of several soil microbes you know small bacteria and then earthworms etc and what do they do they keep humus wetness in the soil and they they help plants to support to get essential nutrients after preparing the soil then what we do we have to sow the seeds so the next step is sowing the seeds right so what is sowing that sowing is the process of planting seeds so there is some pattern in planting seeds it depends upon crop to crop right some seeds are to be deeply put onto the soil and some just on the surface so once you sow the seed then the next one is you have to add the manure or the fertilizer the substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers manures are homemade you can do it we shall discuss about this little later and the fertilizers are factory made but both provide nutrients and help the crop to grow faster because on the same soil farmer grow crops crop after crop so that reduces the nutrients to be present in the soil after that next one is we have to pour water because water is very essential thing to grow 90% of the plant is made of water itself it requires water a seeds to germinate requires water now water is arranged from the well tube well ponds lakes dams canals in different methods are used sprinklers drip irrigation and so on so irrigation is done it is germinated it grows and then after that 
we have some problem in the growth because unwanted plants grow in between and these unwanted plant disturb the other plant in their growth and development so that is to be manually removed and what are these unwanted plants called they are called weeds so the process of removing these weeds is called weeding sometimes we have to use chemicals called weedicides sometimes manually you have to take it out so protecting from weeds after that let's say with all that hard work the plants have come up and then let's say if wheat is a yield in the farm then we have to harvest it so the next step is harvesting and what do you mean by harvesting harvesting is a process of gathering a ripe crop reaping is the cutting of grain or pulses machines are used manually they are collected so the entire harvesting process is to gather all these crop which are grown up after that the collected crop which are in large quantity are to be treated properly the moisture is to be re removed because it will spoil it has to be dried up properly and then we have to last step is we have to store it and the storage is done in many ways metal containers are used big godowns are made for it right so these are the steps of cultivation of any crop so here this unit ends now let us see what all we have studied from the beginning in short right which will help you for your examination so what did we study first cropping pattern and cropping pattern we have got two types kharif crop rabi crop and why kharif crops they are grown in rainy season and rabi crops are in the winter season and here are the examples and then we have studied on the stages different stages of production of crops here are the stages of production of crops these are important because if these questions are asked in the examination you have to remember this however all this information and knowledge if you can apply in your daily life remembering is very easy somewhere when you work at your native place and when you involve in all your stages these stages that will help us to connect with the nature yes we are done with thank you the rest of the units we will see in the next video thank you one and all be strong be healthy